Good morning. It's time again for the Rockler Saturday morning demo. I'm Rob Johnstone and today we'll be covering using an HVLP spray system to apply a spray finish. Using a spray gun to apply a smooth even finish to a wooden project has long been one of the best ways to apply paint or lacquer. However, many of us think well, that's something that only the professionals can use. While that may have been true a while ago, these new HVLP systems from Erlex make using a spray gun less complicated, easy, and actually it's kind of a lot of fun. High volume, low pressure spray systems, HVLP, generally consist of a turbine, a spray hose, and a spray gun of some sort. And they're famous for applying more material directly to the project either paint or clear finish, than the old-fashioned high-pressure systems. Why do they apply more material to the projects? It's a science thing. In truth, the low-pressure aspect of these systems allows up to 50% more material to actually be applied to the project, saving you paint or finish and money. HVLP systems allow for different spray tips and needles to accommodate different viscosities of paints and clear finishes. Today I'm going to be spraying paint on a cabinet door. To do that, I'll thin the latex paint with some water and then use a filter when I pour it into the gun cup. These steps will lead to successful spraying. So there are adjustments you can make with the gun. You can spray in a horizontal oval or a vertical oval or a round shape. And all of them are useful in different situations. A couple of things before we actually start spraying paint. First, you're going to need to control the overspray, even with an HVLP gun. So I recommend this spray tent from Rockler, and of course you're going to need to use a drop cloth. Second, you need some way to control your, um, in this case, cabinet door while you're spraying. So I just built a simple shop easel to hold it vertical while I'm painting. Finally, when you're using an HVLP system, the turbine should be well away from where you're spraying. The key to applying a finish with a spray gun is the Goldilocks theory. Not too close, not too fast, and not too thick. And always start your spray pass off of the door. Stay 10 to 12 inches away from the surface and move the gun smoothly at a moderate pace. You'll get the hang of it quickly. Obviously it goes without saying that after you're done using a spray gun, you need to clean it thoroughly to keep it working properly. Just go to your manual for instructions on that. Now, I've only given you just a really basic overview of spraying, but I think it clearly demonstrates how effective and easy and actually fun spraying is as a way to finish. If you like this video, we have more of them at rockler.com slash learned, Rockler's YouTube channel, and of course, Woodworkers Journal's YouTube channel. I'm Rob Johnstone. Thanks for watching.